when do you want to bring in your plug, first plug-in hybrid electric vehicle into India? Uh, some time of, uh, some part of calendar year 2025. Are we going to understand that this JB would like to play on the premium end of things only? Is that the segment that you want to focus on? No, I think, I think if you look at uh, MG India's architecture today, uh, it plays in the sub-20 lakh uh, category mostly. And it has a couple of products that are above that, obviously with the MG Gloucester, the ZS EV being the, and the Hector being the three core products that are above 20 lakhs. And then it has a series of products sub 20 lakhs. Mm. Uh, as we move forward, we have, will have two segments of MG India, JSW MG India. One is the premium segment. Uh, and the other will be the more mass segment, mainstream, the yeah. more mainstream segment. Mm. So uh, the Cyberster, which we saw on stage, will be the first product that we launch in the premium segment. And this is to cater to you know, the, 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 the premium end of the market, whereas the mainstream segment will be our, continue to be our core focus area. Mm. So when m my father announced that we will be launching new models every three to six months, into the country over the next three years, that will be a mix of mainstream products and premium products mm. so that we can cater to the entire market uh, of India. Right. So, speaking so, about so, so on, this, uh, on this, if I can add on to it, that as we know that thanks to YOLO concept and thanks to more money available uh, you know, at consumers' hand, uh, a lot of consumers are migrating towards the premium and luxury segment in all categories of uh, products. So we feel there's a huge opportunity there and that's why we feel and the kind of products we have globally available to us in the right hand markets. So, so we definitely want to bring those products at very affordable price within the hmm. luxury definition. Hmm. Uh, and our endeavor is to give unparalleled consumer experience in that segment to people there in India. Mm. And that's why we are excited about that channel. Right. So, uh, give us a sense. Uh, Cyberster, by January, uh, what will be the price point that you'd like to play on? So, we are not saying January, frankly. We are saying hopefully early next year we should be able to start the channel with one product. And then as Path said and Mr. Jindal said that every three to six months we are going to bring one new product either in mainstream channel or in premium luxury channel. So, a lot of excitement hopefully is going to uh, happen. Right. Maybe you can spill the beans on the <laughs> on the pricing <laughs> of the Cyberster. Give us some indication. What I, can, what I can assure all the customers and all the viewers that it's an unbelievable price for the features that the Cyberster brings to the table. Uh, frankly, to me, it looks like a Ferrari. Um, and when they, when you hear the price, and when everyone hears the price, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty awesome. The government is trying to attract the likes of Windfast, which has already announced plans for India. Uh, Tesla, they have agreed to reduce duties for a limited period of time if a company commits to manufacturing in India. Is this something that you'd like to take advantage of? The new EV manufacturing policy that has now been announced. Yes, you know, I think I think we have to look at the fine print and we have to understand the policy completely. Uh, we understand that the policy has been framed mostly for the premium segment. Uh, our, our aim, like I mentioned, is to really capture the imagination of the country. And I think the premium segment is still a very small segment in this country. Mm. So we do believe that in SAIC and MG, we have the right partners to bring the right products into this country. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, over 90% of India's market mm. is sub 20 lakhs. Mm. And that's the market mainly that we want to play in. Mm. And we want to bring in new products in that category. So, uh, uh, yes, we will be launching a premium channel. Yes, we will be studying the new policy. Uh, but our aim is to, to launch new mm. products three to six months and to deeply localize and indigenize the products in India mm. uh, so that we can bring the cost down mm. and make EVs and new energy vehicles, uh, if not cheaper, at least at the same price as ICE vehicles in this country. So, can one assume that when it comes to sub-20 lakh electric vehicles, ICE vehicles and hybrid vehicles, you'd like to localize and make them here, but when it comes to premium electric vehicles, which is a niche category, you'd like to import them? No, uh, I, I, I don't think true? so. Is no, I don't think so. That's what Parth uh, said. We definitely want to make every car in India. Mm. Now, degree of localization depends on the volume. Mm. You know, if you are going to do only few hundred cars here, so localization is going to be less. Mm. If you are doing 20,000 cars here, localization is going to be much more. Mm. So the whole idea is that in the mainstream and mass cars, we should go up to 90% localization, you mm. know, even in EV. 
you know that will take some time so so the degree of localization varies from product to product now in terms of the total investment that SAIC and JSW will make over the next five to six years can you give us uh, a figure um, so, so we're looking at our plans, we want to sell 1 million vehicles in the year, in the calendar year 2030 in the new energy vehicle segment alone, mm. apart from what we sell in ICE. Mm. Uh, as you can imagine, this will call for a second manufacturing location apart from Halol, maybe a third manufacturing location. This will call for investment in several new models because we want to launch every three to six months. So that will call for a big investment. Um, so, you know, the back of the envelope we have worked out and, you know, we have got the support from JSW and SAIC. Uh, the total investment is looking like anywhere between 3.5 to 4 billion dollars uh, over the next seven years. Right. Uh, and this includes R&D center in India. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And this is both by SAIC and JSW together. That's right. right. That's right. And this, this includes manufacturing footprint, deep localization, R&D centers, and uh, new new models being launched every three to six months. Well, from the autos. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.